And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Z finishing up our Ionia day. This deck though isn't as much Ionia. It's going to be mostly all Shirima, but uh, you know, we're still going to be playing Zed Flurry of Fist. We got a couple Ionia cards in here. There's different ways to build Sivir Z. I think Sivir and Sivir and Zed are two champions that work very well together. They both have quick attack. They're both great at attacking, so you know, like they you know, feels like you can put a pretty good aggressive deck together with them. This is like my first try with it. Um, I am going to be going more aggressive. We're not going to have as good of a late game as our other Ionia decks have had. No Dancing Droplet, Homecoming, Shadow Assassin, Retreat Return um, package in this one since we're going mostly all Shurima. So instead we're going to try to get real aggressive. We got our the two great Shurima one drops with Reaper and Doomkeeper. The good one mana spells. Scrying Sands in here to kind of protect our champions, especially from challengers. Um, you know, but it, it could just kind of help out there. Got a couple of Ancient Hourglass to protect our champions also. And then uh, um, our two drops, obviously Rock Hopper with the Vulnerable is very good with the Quick Attack. You know, Quick Attack and Vulnerable work well together. A couple of Chronomancers to help find whatever we need later on. And then our, our spells. Flurry of Fists should be awesome with both of our champions, because both of our champions already have Quick Attack, so then this would grant either champion double, a, double attack. If you have your leveled up Zed, then both it and the Living Shadow would have the double attack. Or, of course, if you have Sivir and leveled up Sivir, then whenever it attacks with the double attack, it gives the keywords to everybody else. So all of your other attackers will have double attack as well. So we're going to try that out. Um, obviously, Merciless Hunter. The, but then the, like, the reason why we're going all Shurima here is for Golden Ambassador. This will help us find our champions and um, help us in the late game. And I think like the plus two plus two on both of these champions could be really nice. You know, Zed being a five four and attacking with two five fours sounds amazing, and then seven five uh, Sivir also sounds amazing. So we're gonna try that out. And uh, finally, um, let's see, Ruthless Predator. I guess I didn't mention that one. That should work great with both of our champions. Um, you know, this can give Zed plus two plus zero. So then whenever Zed attacks, you get two five twos attacking. That's a lot of damage towards leveling up Sivir. And then, of course, giving something vulnerable to take out. So um, that's that's what we're going to try. We're going to go ahead and try out this version of Sivir Z, see how it does. Here we go. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Maybe a top 10 list on Sunday. Top 10 cards to buff, top 10 cards to nerf. Okay. The lesser played Aurelia deck, Aurelia Misfortune. This will be a race. I'll keep the Golden Ambassador. Right? Or send it back. I'm gonna send it back also. My heart tells me to keep it because I love Golden Ambassador, but I think that, you know, in, in a race matchup, maybe just keeping a four mana card in hand could result in some. Uh, a really clunky hand. So they passed priority to me, saw that I played Reaper, and then played this. I'm kind of sitting back. I'm trying to talk a little louder. I'm sitting back a little bit away from the microphone more than normal because got puppy dog. I'll just take this. I don't think it's a very good block. Um, I guess homecoming seems kind of likely. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Hopefully not. Yeah, it's unfortunate. These Ruthless Predators aren't looking good without having our quick attacks, our champions. Kind of wish I had my uh, Golden Ambassador. That was a big-time homecoming for them. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. The dead don't need riches. Basically doing the blocking to make sure we get the slays in. Now for these. Attacks. Would you look at this place? The ocean whispers her secrets. You got caught. Watch me. Spells just don't look good. I guess I'm going okay, like I guess I give like this Reaper quick attack. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I mean I'd rather have this Reaper in play than that spell in my hand. Golden Ambassador! Yes! We live in hollow time. Oh, come on, it missed? That's some good luck right there. So this comes back round start. Does it check just the exact same thing? If I draw my card first, I assume it's probably just gonna check the exact same thing. to one. And of course I have to just open attack. Yeah, it just checks the same thing. I just gotta open attack because I can't let them blade dance. Let's 
Should I? I don't know. So what are they going to have? Like, Because they could just have like a bounce spell. And then the game's over. Where if I... If I play the Zed first and go like double Ruthless Predator, I can... I can at least like take down a bunch of stuff. If that's just a bounce spell. If I develop. The problem with developing though is, is Blade Dance, right? Like if I, if I develop and they play a Blade Dance card, the game's over. It's a tough call. I think I will attack there. Got him. I think it's more likely that they had a blade dance that they drew a blade dance card than drew a bounce spell. Oh yeah, Sivir is a great card. Sivir does not need to be Sivir does not need to be buffed. If someone was saying that. Spell shield is ridiculous. I would nerf spell shield if it was up to me. I'd have spell shield last like one or two turns. And then go away. Like barrier only lasts till end of round. I think spell shield should be like the same kind of thing. Okay, so this is going to be a combo deck, this Draven Riven deck. It's another Flurry of Fist deck. <laughs> Again, shows uh, how if you... I don't know, that's actually kind of good. You know, just like Jax always said, like whatever, whatever you play, you always get paired against something pretty similar. We're playing <laughs> a Flurry of Fist deck. We face like the only other Flurry of Fist deck. This is awesome. We just also faced a weird Ionia aggro deck. The Ionia Misfortune deck with our weird Ionia aggro deck. The Emperor commands, the land obeys. Just you got not. Always forward. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, oh dear. I have the best job. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. It's a living. This is gonna hurt for you. Time for the money makers. Man, what a card. What a card. So of course I, I attack like this because I, I want them to block the Dune Keeper because I had lethal. Like this this is 18 damage, right? Like that's that's 18 damage right here. Um, if you don't know what happened, my opponent has survival skills, so now my Sivir is, like, dead now. And this is pretty rough. Let's go with the Hunter. They're doing this to level up Draven. I 
I do not want them to have overwhelm leveled up Draven. By the hour. I also need this 2-1 to sit there and block afterwards. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have just killed Sivir. Yeah, I should have killed Sivir. Oh, well, looks like it wouldn't matter. Man, great hand opponent. The survival skills to go along with the Draven. Survival skills with that... When you can set that up, that is nuts. So, it looks like we're probably... You know, if they have all of this and then also have double attack, we will be dead. Okay, no double attack. That is good. Bask in the sunlight. Honor is the rust on a dull blade. Uh, it's Raven time. Looking good, kid. There's probably not great chances that they have another survival skills, right? That's probably not great chances for that. If I have anything else challenge the Draven, the 2-1 definitely just goes in front of the Sivir. Another survival skills? Come on! Unbelievable. I understand that they're they have three survival skills in their deck. I understand. So they had all three Dravens. That was another Draven's whirling death they just discarded. That was a regular whirling death. So left with just the Draven. The order rewards its faithful. We live in hollow times. I will play my part. Can't spoil our moment. Time for the money makers. <laughs> Exact lethal, I guess I need to play the I guess I need to play the 6-4. Oh, that's a feels bad. That was a, a good shadow assassin. Drawing another card, but yeah, I should have I should have just played the 6-4 and blocked with that. Because of course it would have killed the 6-4, right? Like Draven's killing the 6-4 if I blocked, but I would have saved two extra life from the overwhelm. The shape stone, I don't know if I'm supposed to keep or not. But I do really like the Zed with the hourglass protecting the Zed. The 
emperor commands, the land obey. The shape stone, of course, would be for after the hourglass. But with you know, with putting on Zed, that's like plus three to two different things. It's like plus six, so thought it'd be worth it. That's halfway to leveling up. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. All of this is ours. Cool. We also got new Zed, which will be pretty powerful. Let's go with. Let's see. Flurry. Yeah, I'll take a flurry. I, don't want to eat whatever woke you up. I have like all these other pump spells though, so like maybe I shouldn't be. Devotion through battle. Yeah, I was wondering. I was like, "What are you doing?" What? It... Okay. Huh. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on right now. Would you look at this place? I'm a clear mortal. It's unfortunate. Watch me. Back heretic. Ruthless Predator has been the worst card in our deck so far. But we're about to go crazy with the Ruthless Predator. So they do have the two blockers. All right, let's see. All right, so we're gonna do uh, plus three, plus one. So that's eight, ten, twelve. Can be undone. Don't really need to do the plus one, plus zero, double attack. That didn't work out. That didn't work out. Oh. 
man, and the very next card was Ride of Negation. I guess I should have waited. Man, what a blowout. Alright, well we had you know we had some good fortune and everything and we won like with our first two decks. But man, what a blowout this was. Two vengeance. GG's. Okay, Victor Draven. So another kind of like all in Draven deck. Most likely. I think I'm keeping all three of these. It's not the fastest star, but I like all three of them. We do have the attack token, that's good. We do have the attack token round four. This now now our hand looks great now with this rock hopper, really. Makes everything else look good. We had the attack token round four with the Sivir. I'm playing this. Gotta find a kid for an acting. I don't like it, but I guess I'm playing it. System upgrade. All that glitter is mine. Good chance I just have the 3-1 challenge. Just want to have that challenge there. with Challenger. I can challenge the Sivir. But I do have a backup Sivir. To have leveled up Victor. Okay. Shake what you want without mercy. Victor's a really cool champion. Dangerous. 
Avenger pays. Clumsy design. Yep, there's survival skills again. There's that survival skills. Is that at eight right now? to five. I kind of forgot about the regen. I was thinking like getting you know the victor down to one with this ricochet was going to be nice, but that's right, they have the regen. Quick attack challenger is rough. Scout? Yeah, they're... They're hitting the jackpot. So next round I'm going to have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, four, I don't know exactly what the sever is supposed to do, but we shall see. I guess it's going to level up. My other sever. Yeah, that's what's gonna do. It's gonna level up my other my sever and then double attack it. Okay. Now we're cooking. Alright, yeah, that's actually that's perfect. Do not fear the shrouded path. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. <laughs> no materials, no improvements. Well, 
Let me kill some one ones. Okay. So kill Draven, got rid of the spell shield on the victor, and killed that one one. So we're gonna give the Sivir double attack, which is then gonna give everything else double attack. So you know we cleared up some board space. They still have obviously they still have Victor. But we got to clear up some board space, that was cool. Yes, of course. If they get overwhelm or elusive, the game's over. We gotta hope for spell shield again. Fearsome, not bad. We can deal with fearsome. I think I need to do this and just clear up that body. I was talking bad about all those, um, you know, the Renekton champion spell, the plus two, plus zero vulnerable, like, this whole time, and, uh, control. didn't realize. Didn't realize that that would have been super necessary to have these whole, this whole time. So unfortunately, it looks like my opponent has it. I don't. This isn't lethal, and the victor is lethal on the way back. As long as they don't completely mess it up. All right, one and three. Man, we've lost some really, really close ones to these Draven decks. These. Twice we have lost to Draven, Spinning Axe, plus Survival Skills. Man, Survival Skills has been awesome. And then the regen after the Survival Skills of that victor. Yeah, Survival Skills is rough. Alright, Rose, I'll see you on Sunday. I don't think our deck's been bad. You know, it's just been... We've been playing similar type decks that have had Survival Skills. And that card has been brutal. What's up, David? Um, okay, cool. I no, I would not say that the Soraka Braum deck is up to date. No, I would not say that. I have I it's been a while since I've played that. Um I don't know exactly what it you know, I I I just haven't looked at it in a long time. Um it's probably not that far off from being up to date, but... Oh, we didn't start by labeling it as such. 
I don't want to meet I'm gonna actually people. take the Ruthless Predator. I think that could go well with this Zed. Pledge yourself to the shadows. For the next attack round. Oh yeah, Victor is definitely a really cool champion. I love playing Victor decks. So no, I am not I'm not mad at that. It only awaited my return. Sedition. That could be useful. Hate seeing that. Hate seeing that. The cliffs themselves are my barracks. Uh, we've had one new champion revealed, Rek'Sai. Is its name? That's the only one that I know of that's been revealed. David, thank you so much. For that sub. Thank you so much, David. That's incredible. Very kind. Alright, this will get a couple of slays in. I am a true master. Couple of slays in. I just really hope they don't have homecoming. But I can't stop it. Ooh, okay. Now we can stop it. How about that? Okay, so I could do... Uh, I'm still going to do Ruthless Predator. Yeah. See what I've learned? Am I just going Shapestone right now and then holding up Ride Negation? Did have homecoming. They were gonna try to put their Azir back in their hand. Alright, so we leveled up Sivir. If we find a Sivir. Oh, they had another Azir, and yet they were still gonna put the Azir back in their hand instead of the droplet? Really? That's surprising. I thought this was going to be a good idea. So I'll have six mana next round. I will not have enough mana for Ambassador plus Sivir. I think I'm just passing. I don't, I don't think any of these... Because I want to open attack. I don't think any of these really help in open attack. Do not disappoint me. It's not safe. I am the true master. Uh, 
They better not have shape stone. Come on. Wow. Wow. Well, thankfully they at least used it incorrectly and didn't kill my Zed. But to be fair... Yeah, this isn't good. To be fair, I guess my Zed's not leveled up, so actually it's that's actually probably the better thing to do. Yeah, that was the better thing to do, because that thing blocked and killed Azir. Cut the breath from them. Gross. You're dead meat. I I can keep something alive. Why would they not why would they not block? Okay, so the Shurima cards did kind of underperform cards like Scrying Sand, Ruthless Predator, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I wanted to try this route with Golden Ambassador, and the Golden Ambassador was perfectly fine, but like, like Flurry of the Fists, like, didn't actually matter in any game. Um, yeah, this card really, like, these are, yeah, so basically all of our spells underperformed. <laughs> Flurry, Ruthless Predator, Scrying Sands, all three of those uh, never mattered in any games. So I think that, um, you know, I tried, tried doing something a little different here, but I think that this could definitely, like, there's a lot of ways to build Sivir Zed, and I think Sivir Zed, you can get a really good quality deck. We're trying stuff out, though. This wasn't it. I think that uh, if we would have just gone back to, like, all of the Ionia cards that we have been playing in the other three decks that looked great would definitely make this deck a lot better. You know, put in your Dancing Droplet, um, your Retreat Return, your Homecoming, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, just put those kind of cards in get a lot more Ionia cards in. You can have Sonic Wave to go along with Zed. That would be really nice. Um, you know, and you can you can go that route, right? And then Retreat Return protects it pretty well. And so you can, again, play all your Ionia cards, get more card advantage in by playing Shadow Assassin and, and stuff like that. And I think that should have been the way to go. But good to know. Good to know. It's, always, it's all about learning and everything like that. Um, you know. So yeah, this wasn't quite it, but we were playing close games, you know, like our games were close, but I just don't think that this quite cuts it. I don't think that these spells um, were very good enough or impactful. And, and honestly, Flurry of Fists looked very, very poor. All right. So anyway, that's going to be it here for Sivir Zed. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck and those takeaways or got other ideas. Uh, I'd like to hear it, but that's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.